In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a basic workflow for using the Plan and Profile Generator. To start with, I'm going to open my Plan DGN. Next, there's a Civil Cell library that I need to attach in MicroStation. So I'll go to Element, Cells, File, Attach File, and attach civil.cell. Now I want to load my inroads files, which have uh, been provided. So I'll go to File, Open, and I'm going to open the Preference file, the Geometry file, and both DTM files. Now I can run the Plan and Profile Generator by going to Drafting, Plan and Profile Generator, I already have a preference set up for this, so I'm going to go ahead and load that preference. Plan and profile. And close. Now, in order for this to be at the proper scale, there is a text scale factor that I want to adjust, so I'll go to File, Project Options, click on the Factors tab. And I want to set my text scale factor to 5. I'll click Apply and Close. On the main tab, you can see that I want to generate a plan and profile. My baseline alignment is set, along with some other criteria such as using station limits. I have my station limits defined here as well as the length. Next, I'm going to take a look at the Sheet Layout tab. On this tab, there are a couple of files that I need to designate. First, I want to designate my host file. This is going to specify the name of the new design file that's going to be created by the Sheet Generator. Pretty much, you can just give this a name. We'll just call this Sheet 1. Next, we're going to select the Seed Host file. And what this does is it designates a design file that you will use as the seed to create your host file. So this file should be set up for the requirements of your project, including any required cell libraries. It should also have the same working units as your other project files. So I already have a seed file set up, so I'll select that here. Next, I want to take a look at the Border and Title tab. And what we're going to do here is select the reference file name. This will indicate the reference file that we're going to use for our border. And we're going to be using that instead of a cell. So I'll data click in the field and select Browse. And I already have a border file, which I have created. So I'll open that. The remainder of the tabs, such as Plan Controls, Profile Controls, all of these contain the different settings and criteria which can be customized to make the plan and profile sheets look exactly as you wish. On every sheet there is a help button. You can actually just click right on that help button and that will bring up the reference information for that specific tab. For example, if we click over on symbols and details you can see you have some um, criteria that you can set up for your north arrow, your title block, etc. And again, if you just click on help, you'll get all the information about each of the fields here. So you may want to browse through these on your own. So let's go ahead now and uh, create the plan and profile sheets. And just to recap, what we've done so far is to select our method, and our horizontal alignment here in the main tab. 
we've designated the host file name as well as the seed host file here in the sheet layout tab. And on the border and title tab, we have designated the reference file that we wish to use to create our border. So the next thing we're going to do is select apply. That's going to place the profile in the active file and then it will create the plan and profile sheets. Now once the generator has completed this process, the active file will now be the final sheet that's created. So let's go ahead and click apply. Okay, you'll see that I get a message here that says cannot create host file sheet one. So let's take a look back at our sheet layout tab. Okay, you can see here I have this host file and the mistake that I made was not designating a correct path. So let's correct that. I'm going to click on the browse button and now I'm going to give it a name of sheet one and save and now you can see the entire path appears. So let's try that again. We'll click apply and we're prompted here to identify location. So this is going to be the location of our profile and you can watch up here and see that the various sheets are being created. And just like we said, the final sheet that was created has become my active file. So now if we want to go in and view additional sheets, we can just select the sheet index tab and by clicking on the sheet number and selecting show sheet, you can see that we get our next sheet here. So we can take a look at sheet one and you can see that we've successfully created our plan and profile sheet.